What up, what up, what up, y'all? That's right, it's me, your boy, Mo D. Back with another five minute cigar review just for you. And uh, today, I'm doing the Hamlet Tabaquero cigar, which I believe is made by Rocky Patel or made for Rocky Patel. Somehow or another, this is a Rocky Patel cigar. It's the Hamlet Tabaquero. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a head nod. Get the head nod. Um, I think I mentioned before, I used to love the Rocky Patel cigars, but over the years, in my humble opinion, I think the quality has gone down and they're not as good as they used to be. But this is not a bad cigar. It's a Mexican San Andreas wrapper over a Brazilian Mexican binder and Nicaraguan filler. Gives you some pretty good flavors there. Um, oh, shit, I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe, baby. You gotta hit me up with them subscribe buttons, like buttons, and uh, share this with your friends. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys who have uh, started with me and hopefully will continue with me. But back to the review. Pretty good cigar, pretty good flavors here. Definitely some leather in there. Um, and there's that spice that's always there. You know, I've got to start finding some cigars without the Nicaraguan tobacco, but Nicaragua makes such good fucking tobacco, it's hard to find cigars that don't use it. But I gotta find some without that. I love the spice, but I wanna, sometimes the spice, even when it's really subtle, still stands out more than the rest of the flavors. But today it's got that leather it's got that spice it's got that savoriness and uh, a little bit of a nuttiness no no not the nutty I'm sorry I don't even know what made me think of that it's got a little bit of that earthiness is what my mind was thinking but my mouth said nutty a little bit of earthiness now it's got a good build tightly packed Good burn, nice and even. Um, the draw is a little bit tight, but I was thinking about this, and I meant I meant to mention this before. I use the V cut. I think you can see that, and I like the V cut because I think it concentrates the smoke a little bit more on the tongue when you're drawing it in. But I admit that sometimes the V cut may not cut enough to. Uh, give you that easier draw most of the time I don't have a problem but when the cigar is a little bit more tightly packed then I then every now and then that V cut I think doesn't open it up enough and it makes the draw a little bit tight now I'm the kind of person that believes a good cigar should be good no matter what utensils you use so whether I use a V cut a straight cut or a punch the cigar should be the same good cigar should be that way because I've had those cigars where no matter what cut I use it, co it, it still draws the same so this one is a little bit tight could be the V cut could be that it's just a, a it's just too tight could be something as simple as that so but decent smell I mean <laughs> sorry decent smoke smells good too as a matter of fact um, decent flavors I'll say above decent build. It's got that smoothness, that silkiness that I like on that tobacco, on that wrapper. And uh, shit, I, I, I'll, I'll give them, I'll give Rocky Patel a little credit on this one. I mean, again, I think the quality's gone down, but this one is actually pretty good. This is almost reminiscent for me of that vintage uh, '92 back in, say, the early 2000s. The vintage '92 in the early 2000s, which I thought was one of the better cigars out there. Now, I will say this, that I, was, I wasn't I was new to cigars, but I was new to expanding my palate. So maybe that's why that Vintage 92 was so good to me then, and it's not as good to me now. But I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with, I think it was a better cigar than it was now, than it is now. And this is reminiscent of that, that Vintage 92. Not so much in, in flavor, but in quality. That makes sense? All right. Well, there you go. The Hamlet Tabaquero 
that gives a head nod. Good cigar. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share these. Hit them buttons for me, baby. I need that support. And I appreciate all of you who, are, who have already done so. So you will see me soon. Peace out.